What's up, everybody? Welcome to Selling Put Plays for the Week. Let's get into our first play we're going to look at here. So, guys, our first play here is going to be with Fubo TV. I'm on the one hour time frame. So, we have that $6 level there as our psych level. We broke through that 775, 777 area. And then our next resistance there is going to be that top blue line at 870. Okay, so for puts, you can be aggressive and sell right at that last support, or you can kind of sell somewhere in the middle in between these two supports. Um, around that 650 or seven. So let's take a look at the options and see what premiums are looking good. Okay, guys, so I have the options chain pulled up here for the 25th of March for this year. So if you look at that $650 put, you would collect $5 there at the ask. If you got lucky, you might get filled at six. So about um, a 1%, 0.885% um, of a percent for return on your capital. So you'd put up $650 and you would collect $5 or $6 back off that $650 as cash collateral, okay? If you wanna be more aggressive, you could sell that $7 put and you collect nine, maybe $10, which would be over um, 1%. It'd be like 1.4% return on your capital for the week, which would be awesome. So, you know, if you had $50,000, you trade, you sell puts with every week and you got 1% every single week, you would get $500 every week and it takes about 10 minutes to do every Monday morning or afternoon whenever you have time. So for me, I'm looking at the $6.50 put. Let's take a look at our next play there. So guys, our next play is going to be with AMC. So if we look here at the technicals, we kind of had this broad range of support there, um, really between, I guess, 13, really 14 and uh, 14.70. So we did break under that and then we came right back up. So we're going to look to sell puts down here around that $13 area. We've been kind of trading in like a chop trading channel, kind of in a box. Okay. So really between that 20 and we'll put that around 1350 there. So we really haven't left this box. We have a few wicks above, a few wicks down below this box, but really between that 13, 50 and $20 area this has been a sideways channel. So we're at the bottom of the channel. So we'll kind of sell a put near that bottom or even below it. So let's take a look at the options. So options put up guys, puts here on the right. That's what we're going to be selling, putting our cash up as collateral. If you don't know what selling a put is, watch the video linked above. I'll explain exactly what that is. Okay, so we're down here. Our low is at that $13 area. So if you wanted to sell a $13 put, kind of hitting that 52 week low, you would be getting $14. So you put up 1300, collect $14. That's a 1.1% return on your capital. So uh, not too bad. If you did 100 of these, you'd put up $130,000 and you'd collect $1,400 back. Okay, so not too bad. I won't be doing that. I'll probably just sell a couple of those. Um, but that'd be a good play for me. If you wanna be a little less aggressive, I don't think that's too aggressive, but you can sell the 12 or $12.50 if you sold the 12, you'd get a little over half a percent. And if you sold the 12.50, you'd almost be getting that full percent there, getting that 10 or $11 off the $12.50 put. Okay, let's take a look at our third and final play. Okay, guys, so I have SoFi pulled up here. We have that low there of $7.70, but we have been in a nice uptrend really the last whole week, um, starting Tuesday, so Wednesday, Thursday, and then into Friday. We had that nice kind of uptrend. We do have that resistance area there around that $10. That's kind of our psych level. And if we look back on the chart, we'll go to the four hour time frame and I'll show you guys. Um, actually, we'll go to the one day. So $10 really is kind of where this thing started. So that's where we're coming into. So that old support now is going to be acting as that resistance. Okay. So we've resisted prior to, we're coming back up to that resistance. So um, if we break through this, that'd be amazing. But I'm looking to sell those puts down here at the bottom of this trend line support around that $850 area. If you're going to be safe, you could do eight. So let's check out the options. Okay, guys. So I have the SoFi options here pulled up. Again, puts on the right for this Friday, the 25th of March. So if you want to be or sell that $8.50 put, you would collect $7. If you think that will break out and if this does break out over that $10 area, you can sell the $9 put and be a little bit more aggressive. That'd be 10% under that $10 level. So the stock has to drop 10% for the week for you to get to assign those shares at nine. Um, but you'd collect a little bit more capital off your cash of $900 as collateral. Okay, so those $8.50 puts, you'd collect $7, just under 1% return on your capital. So not too bad. And if you wanna be really safe, you could sell the $8 put 
and you would collect three dollars maybe even four and you'd get just under half or maybe half a percent return on your capital which isn't bad if you get half a percent every single week without even compounding it's 52 weeks in a year you'd get 26 percent return on the year so think of it that way so these small little half percent 0.75%, 1%, 1.2% gains every week selling puts will add up even if you don't leave those in there. So you make $250 a week selling puts and you pull it all out, you would uh, still have a 26% return on your capital for the year. Okay, so always keep that in mind, those small little gains add up. Okay, guys, so we have those puts we're going to sell this week. I'm going to be looking at to sell are going to be Fubo, AMC, and SoFi. Those are kind of my three top plays for the week. There's a few earnings with Neo, Adobe, um nike a few other companies i didn't like any of the option premiums that i was selling if anything it'd be neo so you could check neo out but that's gonna be it for the video guys if you enjoyed it give it a like down below it really helps out the channel then like and subscribe if you haven't already and you'll be notified whenever i post a video thank you for watching guys and i hope you all have a great rest of your day peace